uh, was named a 2020 comic to watch by Time Out LA. And you can see him in the up and coming reboot of the classic movie House Party. Please give it up for Chenadu, the knockoff. <laughs> Thank y'all. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, before we get started, you know, I actually have a really big announcement. This day is double special. Uh, one year ago today, I actually lost 100 pounds, man. Give it up for me, guy. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, man. I'm, I'm lying, man. I'm lying, man. It's just, it's just no better applause than fat loss applause, man. It's, you ever notice that? Fat loss applause is the best. You can't beat it, man. I suggest everybody try it. Applause is good for your soul, you know? It's not illegal to lie about weight loss. Anytime I'm feeling down, I walk into a random Starbucks and nobody knows me. I'm like, hey guys, I'm gonna interrupt everybody getting their coffees, but one year ago today, <laughs> I lost 100 pounds, man. People start crying and shit. They buy me free skinny lattes, it's a good time. Shout out to Arsenio, the legend for getting my name right. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you, man, you know? I run into problems on name because I'm African, but I don't sound African. That's the issue. Like, my full name is Chinadu and Emeka Unaka, you know? Yeah, but because I don't sound African, when you see me or hear me, you expect me to say my name is like, you know, Tyrone, right? Uh, Jamal, the classics, you know, the vinyls. It's good names. But if I sounded like this, yes? If I sounded like this, you'd be prepared to catch your name. That is so big. Because I don't sound like that when I tell somebody my name is actually Chinadu and Emeka Unaka, the way the brain works, they hear Trinidad, Propaganda, Mufasa <laughs> every single time. <laughs> I was born in LA, that's why I sound like this. You know, uh, I can't speak my native language, which is Igbo. It's kind of my dad's fault. We got some Igbos in here. Arsenio, man, my Igbo brother. Yes, sir. I can't speak it fluently, it's kind of my dad's fault. You try to teach me too late. I was already in high school, my dad got, got the bright idea to try to teach his son his native language. I came home with a full backpack, just left basketball practice. My dad had a bunch of Igbo words on the wall. He was like, Chinadu, don't you want to learn? <laughs> to me, but yes. I'm like, yeah, but I got Spanish homework. I got time for this. I'm busy now. I know Spanish better than I do Igbo. That's embarrassing. I meet like another Nigerian born in Nigeria because they'll judge you. Your name is Chinedu, do you speak Igbo? I'd be like, my brother, my brother, my brother. Hey, uh, maso menos, yes. That's the best I could do. I speak Spanish in Igbo accent, hope they don't notice. You know? Sometimes they think I'm better than them. Okay, maso menos, very good, eh? Hey, be good set to you too now, very, very good. You know? I've been hanging out with my mom, I love my parents. I'm trying to keep my mom out the way because of COVID, so I'm doing a lot of errands for her. Now I've been taking this extra time to try to teach her some things. Like, uh, she's a really bad texter. Me and my whole family was all in this group chat. And instead of me using the LOL or ha ha ha, she'll type out, she laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> like she's some kind of emperor. She laughs. And I'm the asshole of the family, so they always wait for me to say something. Like, mom, who is she? She like, she is me and me is she. I'm like, just use LOL. What is LOL? It means laugh out loud. But I didn't laugh out loud. I laughed with them. I'm like, she right. I'm like, text what you want. Then like a few weeks ago, she started texting me Lily. I'm like, mom, what is Lily? It means laugh in sight, laugh in sight. I'm like, oh. and she got a point. Go to Africa, man. It's a beautiful place. You know, it's a lot of dope countries and cities to see. I remember my first time I went, I was 11 years old. It was very important moment for me because a lot of my life made sense when I saw the village my mom and dad came from, you know? Because like driving there was like really rough. It's like playing Mario Kart in real life. All the traffic laws are suggestions. <laughs> remember one time my mom drove up to school in LA, we pulled to a red light and the sign says no U-turn. The light turned green and she begins to make a U-turn. I'm like, mom, what are you doing? The sign says no U-turn. She's like, shut up, I can read. Eh? I'm just going to make a C instead. A C turn? <laughs> Mom gonna kill us, man. The last time I went to Africa, it was, uh, it was very stressful. 
because I had a very big responsibility because I couldn't sleep the whole flight. I was an exit row member. <laughs> Has anybody ever flown in the exit row before? <laughs> then you know what it is. This is a big job. <laughs> you know the worst part about flying in the exit row is that when you land safely, nobody thanks you for your service, man. <laughs> no one thanks you. It's rude. They take it serious. For those who haven't flown, they ask you two very heavy questions. They say, are you willing and able to assist in case of emergency? And you can't just give a thumbs up. They'll yell it, sir! I need a verbal yes. They'll slap you in the face. A lot of people just say yes, but I can tell the way they say it, they don't mean it. Me, I take my time with those questions, because I don't want to lie. I'm like, am I able? Yes, I am able, thank God. My arms and legs work. But am I willing? <laughs> That's a heavy question. And I sit with it for a little bit. I turn around, I look at the passengers behind me. <sighs> and I think to myself, I don't know these niggas. Yeah. <laughs> but it come with the leg room. So yes, I am willing. And I mean it. I stay awake the whole flight. You sit next to me, I ain't sleeping for you either. Stay awake, I heard your yes. I take different trips to the bathroom, just checking on stuff. By the time the flight lands, I'm exhausted. No one claps for me, man. Not a head nod, nothing. You know how the pilot stands next to the entrance because he wants you to know that he flew the plane? Yes, that was me who landed you mother suckers. I stand right next to him. That was I in the exit row. <laughs> Willing and able. But no one cares. Now I got lied to the whole airplane. When I get to the baggage claim, I stand right there on the roundabout. I'm like, hey guys, nobody's trying to get their bags. But one year ago today, <laughs> I lost 100 pounds, man. Thank you, man. My name is Chinnador. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you all for coming out tonight, especially you two.